Good morning children. Welcome back to our geography class. We are discussing about the climate of India children. In this chapter, in the last class, we have discussed about the climatic controls that is the third climatic control children that is a pressure and wind system. And in today's class, you will be able to learn about the distance from the sea, ocean currents and relief features. Let's go on. The next factor in the six climatic controls is children distance from the sea. The sea exerts a moderating influence on the climate. So let's understand how. During the day the land gets heated more than the sea. So on the land the temperature is high and the pressure is low. And on the water bodies that is sea the temperature is relatively low and pressure is high. So the wind starts blowing from the sea to land during the day and this is known as sea breeze. So during the daytime the coastal areas will receive sea breeze. But at the night time it becomes vice versa. It means the land gets cooler quickly than the sea. So the so on the land the temperature is low and the pressure is high but on the sea the temperature is comparatively high and pressure is low. So the wind starts blowing from land towards the sea and this is called land breeze. So during the night time we have what we have is land breeze. Okay. So due to this the land and sea breeze children a moderating influence on climate is developed in coastal areas. That means people in the coastal areas experience milder summers and milder winters. It means not too hot or not too cold in winters. Okay. As the distance from the sea increases, its moderating influence also decreases. And the people experience extreme weather conditions children. This is known as continentality. That is, it would be very hot during summer and very cold during winters and very hot during day and very cold during night. Now let's next come to the next climatic control children that is the ocean currents. What are these ocean currents actually? Yes, you all have learnt it in class 7th about the ocean currents, no? Okay, let's go. Ocean currents are nothing but a river like movement of surface sea water from equator to poles and poles to equator. I repeat, ocean currents are nothing but a river like movement of surface sea water from equator to poles and poles to equator. So these large masses of surface water of ocean that circulate in different patterns in sorry in regular patterns it means in same directions they flow in the same direction around the ocean so there are the two there are two types of ocean currents children they are the warm ocean currents and cold ocean currents the warm ocean currents children they move from equator to poles and the cold currents move from poles to equator for example any coastal area with warm or cold currents flowing past it will be warmed or cooled if the winds are on shore. It means the area the area whether it is very hot or cold in that area in warm area if cold current passes that cold current makes the area cool and in any cool area when the warm current flows through it or pass over it that area experience warm. So in that way they just watch children they cool or warm the climate over there and let's see the examples of the cold currents Labrador current Peruvian current and Bengula current are the examples of cold currents whereas Brazilian current and North Atlantic drift are the examples of warm currents now the last climatic control is relief. The word relief means variations in height children. 
it means differences in the height now the relief also plays a major role in determining the climate of a place because if it is a mountainous area the relief is high but if it is a plateau or plain the relief is relatively low now the high mountains act as barriers for cold and hot winds they may also cause precipitation if they are high enough and lie in the path of rain bearing winds okay on the other hand the leeward side of the mountains remain dry so the western ghats obstruct the southwest monsoons and are responsible for heavy rainfall along the western coast whereas the deccan plateau in the leeward side of the western ghats receives relatively low rainfall so that's all for today children thank you